Hello, my name is Andrew Lampkin, and I am your son or daughter's geometry teacher. Um, first of all, let me welcome you to a brand new school year and hopefully a normal, fun, activity-filled school year. Um, the past year and a half has been very challenging for all of us. Um, even an old guy like me had to learn a whole lot of new stuff. So moving forward, I mean, take the positives and leave the rest behind. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Um, so that being said, just so you know, I, I am running Google Classroom right along with um, normal everyday activities that we do. In Google Classroom, I am posting um, all the worksheets that we do. I am posting answer keys to those worksheets. I am posting notes, the filled in notes that we cover in class so that if your son or daughter are ever out, um, it's all there, it's all there. Um, but that I do ask that they turn all their stuff into me um, uh, in person, right? So if, if they ever need to be out, um, they know exactly what's going on. Every chapter, I outline exactly what we're gonna do day by day. So they have, um, they have that assignment sheet is what I call it, but it has every day what, what we're doing. And then when it's due, when the quizzes are, when the tests are, so they get one of those before every chapter. It has all the assignment on there with the problems that they're supposed to do. So everything is there, um, which is nice. And of course, I, I hand all that stuff out in class. So pretty much, um, you know, we, a, a normal day would be come in. They, they're going to come in. I'm going to take questions on homework that they have. We're going to go through any issues that they've had with the previous night's assignment. And then we'll you know, collect that material so that I can give them two points for it if they got it all done. Um, if they don't have it done for whatever reason, then I'm going to, um, they have four late passes. As I explained to them, and I'll explain to you that uh, four late passes per quarter. So if for whatever reason they didn't get their homework assignment done, they can get it to me the next day that we're in class and that would use up one late pass and they can get their full credit back. What's really important, and then you have to remind them as I will, that they'll take a quiz, one quiz and one test every chapter. Their quizzes are gonna be 50 points, their tests will be 100 points. Um, if they don't do well on a quiz, instead of doing a retake, what I do is a replacement option. So let's say they get a 70% on their quiz, they take their test, they get a 95% on their test. I will then take that test score and I will replace that quiz score with that 95%, if and only if they have done all of their homework assignments. So everything's gotta be turned in before that test day, otherwise they do not have a replacement option. So again, that's another reason that they wanna have that, uh, that all that homework done. So, and I mentioned the late pass. Now, the late pass is used only for the, you know, to get full credit back. So, example, they don't do their homework on Wednesday. Wednesday it's due, they don't turn it in. They turn it in on Thursday with a late pass, they get their full two points back on that and then they're good. Let's say they don't turn it in till Friday. Well, now it's two days late. They're not gonna get two points for it. It'll stay a zero. However, I will make a special mark in my grade book, letting me know that they've completed it. That way they can still have the uh, quiz score replacement, right? So homework all needs to be complete. And of course they need to do better on their test than they did on their quiz. My rationale behind that is that I, I, I really don't want to get into the, the, the um, orchestrating or whatever you want to call it of doing retakes because um, Number one, I got to rewrite a whole brand new quiz. We have to find time to do it. And the, the, the material and the information that's on the quiz is also going to appear on the test. So if they didn't get it in time for the quiz for whatever reason, and they show me on the test that they understand the material that, you know, then that can act like their, their requiz. So that's why, and it works out really, really well. Um, so the quizzes then become an, more of a, you know, the way I think an assessment should be, you know, where uh, sort of how much do I know at this point in time, you know, where am I at and use it as a learning tool. 
Okay, so that's kind of how everything works and we just kind of roll. We're gonna do the first six chapters in semester one and then we'll do the last six chapters in semester two. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. Geometry can be difficult for some kids with the spatial um, visualizations and things. So if they're having trouble, I'm here. I, I'm here in the morning at seven o'clock. I can meet with them after school by appointment. If they want to, they just need to let me know, but there's a lot of extra help here. Um, and of course we take a lot of questions during class. They, they do, I, and most of the time, like we'll get through questions, we'll get through our lesson and we'll still have a good 15, 20 minutes, depending on the length of the lesson. And then they, they have time to get their, you know, their work out and they can start working through some things so that I can walk around. And if they have questions, they have a really good start to their homework. So they're not trying to figure everything out at home. So it works out really, really well. I enjoy geometry. I'm, I'm, and not a big, I mean, you know, I kind of do algebra, but geometry is neat because it's just different, right? And it's really, really important for your kids to, to learn the language. Um, as I tell them, you know, we have definitions for everything. It's like playing a brand new game. You got to learn the rules and you got to know when we use terminology, what it means and what it says, because what it says is really, really important when we start doing some proofs. So you know, stay on them about that, making sure that they're, they're studying all the, all the vocabulary. Um, and like I said, if they miss, everything's on Google Classroom. They have, you know, they know what they're missing that day. They can always email me and ask, but it should always be there. Um, I suggest they get a buddy or a friend to, to um, you know, they can contact with if they, if they miss. A lot, of, a lot of support here um, for your son or daughter. Um, they already have access to my Google Classroom. That's already available to them. And if you ever need to get a hold of me, email me. Uh, that's the quickest, easiest way to get a response quickly back from me. Uh, if, if you do feel like you need to have a conversation on a phone, conversation, we can do that too. Just you can send me a time and a, and a, a phone number and I can get back to you. Um, my conference hours, third hour, my schedule and my email address is loaded into Synergy. It's there. You can find it. It's also in the course information packet. That's also in Synergy, but also in my Google Classroom. So um, other than that, like, again, I'd like to welcome everybody to a brand new school year. Uh, we're rolling. We're going already. We've got a, a quiz this week and a, a test coming up next week. So um, things are things are good. Like I said, let me know if you need anything. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, I'm not more entertaining, but you know, just trying to get a lot of information to you that I think is important. All right. Um, thank you for your time.